Hey everybody, it's Book of Catherine. I wanted to go over the latest earthquake map with you. Um, as I've been telling you over the last couple days on Twitter, all of these plate boundaries that don't normally have earthquakes on them, they are having 4.5 and 5.0 quakes all along them at equal intervals all across the earth. And from what I can tell, like this is not typical for the Atlantic uh, to have these boundary plates like this. That is a big change, you guys. These swarms, I believe this is the Azores in here. These are all 4.5 and 5.0 quakes. It's quite significant. But what I wanted to point out, this I believe is because of cosmic rays. The cosmic ray storms have been nonstop for more than a month now. And cosmic rays just blanket the Earth. They don't go to the North or South Pole. They just completely, they're so fast and they have so much radiation on them that they just pummel us, they could pop straight through our atmosphere at the speed of light. And so everything just pops off. So, but the worst place on the map is over here on North America. And that's what I want to go over with you today. So according to the magnetic reversal information that we have in the Holocene events, this is where, if anything was to happen again, this is where it would happen. And so I really want to point this out to you. Everyone's talking about Murder Mountain up here that has been popping off. This is the last 30 days, by the way. By the way, um, a quick map for not today, but the last 30 days. This is a lot for the last 30 days. Usually this is how much they are for like, you know, six months or a year. Uh, this is Murder Mountain. And I don't want to distract too much about the Emerald Triangle and the illegal marijuana growing that's happening there. I want instead to focus on this. This is California. And as you can see, California is being circled. Uh, the grapevine right here is being circled. So that's a caldera. Do you see this kind of oval that's forming here? That's actually a caldera. Uh, they call it the grapevine in California, but it's actually a giant caldera. Can you see that now? Can you see that giant caldera right there? And everyone said that California would fall into the ocean, but I'm starting to think based on the map that it could be that this is a giant uh, volcano you know, that's the caldera of this volcano. All signs appear that this is starting to wake up again. Whatever volcano this caldera used to be. And a caldera is just this like oval kind of um, opening like a crater. And sometimes the calderas are like this, nice and long. So they run from here right down there in L.A., and then it runs all the way up to here, up in Sacramento and Mount Shasta. So that's a really long caldera. But from what I can see, the Sacramento Valley, this huge valley in here, that's just the mouth of this giant volcano. And from what I can tell, I mean, look at that. That's the earthquakes just surrounding it. And it is extremely active on this side. So, you know, if truly from all the signs and wonders are telling us that the great and terrible day of the Lord is upon us, then I, I don't see the things that tell us that y Yellowstone will be going off. What data seems to indicate is that not even California, which by the way, California appears to be sinking into the ocean. I mean, everyone's having to restack their beaches. The beaches have transformed dramatically over the last 50 years. And from all data I can find, it looks that like California as a shelf is already tipping, at least along the coastline, it's already tipping in. Houses and cliffs are just coming apart at a tremendous rate. Um, but the fact that we have this super long series of earthquakes over here, you know, tells me that, well, it's a caldera. I mean, it's literally drawing a circle. The the earthquakes here are drawing a circle around this giant caldera over here. And that is a possibility. So we should be prepared for it. We should be ready for it. Should it come? And yeah, I mean, this is concerning because it's it used to be down here. You know, it used to be in South America here, uh, Central America. That's where all the quakes used to be for such a long time. And now it's finally just hitting here in North America and Hawaii. And, you know, 
there's 70% of volcanic activity happens at the submarine layer on the ocean level. We can't see most of that. And the fact that we're seeing it, look, even the plate boundaries along North America here, look, even the plate boundaries here are popping off with like earthquakes there and just a little bit ways up, a couple hundred miles there. It's pretty incredible. So, all right. Anyway, I just wanted to mention that we should really be looking at that caldera. I'll talk to you guys later. Love you so much. Bye.